hi guys. Thank you so much for volunteering to do these tours. It's really important for students who haven't been on campus to feel welcome. And something that helps you feel welcome is knowing where you're going. So a tour can really make or break it. And as some of you guys go on to go on college tours or tours of future jobs, you're gonna see what I mean of like, when you feel welcome somewhere, you feel like you wanna be there. Um, so we're just gonna go over some training tips of how to give the absolute best tour possible. Um, so the number one thing, the absolute number one thing is you have to be positive on a tour. Um, now that doesn't mean you have to lie. Just, you know, as my mom always says, if you have nothing positive to say, say nothing at all. Um, we're trying to showcase the school, not bash a teacher or the lunch food or whatever. So if you're not sure, just stick to facts. Um, if you don't have anything to like, you're like, oh, the food, you don't want to lie and say it's the most amazing thing you've ever eaten. Just say, there are three places that you can buy food here on campus, right? Stick to the facts. Um, that leads us to number two, be knowledgeable. Sorry, I have notes on my phone. They are counting on you to know the school, right? They can read signs, so you need to be able to tell them something more. Um, if you don't know an answer, please don't make it up. Just tell them like, hey, after the tour, I can help you find someone who will know the answer to that. And then after the tour, you can find me or a principal or a dean or the counselor or whoever and try to get them in contact with that person, maybe the athletic director, et cetera. Uh, and if you're not sure who that person is, uh, you could always ask me and I will help you find that person. Um, another thing, and you'll see in the training video, I am wearing a mask the whole time. Uh, you guys will also be wearing a mask. It is important that you, as you're walking with a mask, people can't read your lips, uh, which makes it hard for people to understand. So you have to speak loudly, clearly, slowly, and it will also help if you turn and look at the people so they know you're talking to them. Because there's gonna be a lot of people around um, they may be kind of distant from you. You just want to make sure you're speaking loudly, clearly, uh, and they know you're talking. And ask them once in a while if, like, can you guys hear me okay? Um, so let's get started. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you guys through a tour um, that I made for a virtual tour of the school, and I'm just going to stop it every once in a while and give you guys some things to think about or ideas that you might want to include so that you can be knowledgeable. Hello everyone, my name is Miss Bray. I am the drama leadership teacher and I will be taking you guys on a tour of the school. So because we're still in safety protocols for COVID, I'm gonna be putting on my mask. So as you guys are watching this video, uh, just in case you can't understand me with the mask on, I'll also be putting uh, on the screen what are the highlights of that area. So right now we're outside where the buses drop you off in the morning and we're going to be walking in to the foyer of the school. So this is the very front of the school. Those are the doors you're going to go in. All right, let's do this. So as you walk into the school, oh, sorry, I've got to get my keys out. As you walk into the school. So there are going to be parts of the tour that are boring. Um, where you're just sort of walking by things, take time to get to know the students, get to know what they are interested in, um, so that you can point out specific things for them, like if they're really into a sport or art or something like that. Um, if they're not, or they're really shy, or you're not sure, they're like, I'm into wakeboarding, and you're like, that's nice. Um, you can tell them things about our mascot, uh, a sports team you play for, what it's like to go to a football game, any sort of experience that you've had that's been positive at Beamer. Um, maybe something that you're looking forward to being back on campus for, or uh, a great time you had with a teacher. Just make sure you're keeping it positive. 
you'll see our attendance office. The attendance office is where you would check in if you're late or have your parents sign you out if you need to leave early or if you call if you were sick. Okay. On this side of this main foyer area is our main office. Hi, this is just a reminder that staff members are very busy getting ready for the day. Some of them are here to help you during this time. They are specifically working for uh, the tour time and they are happy to be interrupted. Um, however, if someone is in like their office and they're working or their classroom and they're working, they may not want to be disturbed. Um, so you might ask before your tours or you might sort of just point them out like they're almost, uh, you know, a display in a museum. And because they are hard at work, school starts so soon. So we have our finance office where you can pay for things like your ASB card or any fines you might have. Make sure you get those fines paid so that you can do things like the homecoming dance or graduation. In our main office, this is where our principals, our office managers are, and they are super excited to help you. Um, so if you have questions, you can go right in there. All right, that takes us, I can keep walking backwards. That takes us to our great hall just all these sets of doors behind me. This is the main area for people to eat lunch, but it's not the only place to eat lunch. Uh, we do do some fun stuff at lunch some days, like trivia or play games. So you might want to check it out. We do have three places to get lunch. If you have a fun lunchtime story, you can include it when you talk about where people eat lunch. Um, if you don't, here's something you can be knowledgeable about. We've played Kahoot at lunch, we've played music, We've done games, um, and those are things that are going to continue this year. So that's something that you could bring up as like something that's exciting or fun during lunch. Lunch, one of them is the servery right behind me. And then as we go, we'll, I'll show you a couple more places to eat lunch. Uh, the first being the snack bar. You can kind of see it behind those tables right there. Uh, we're still getting everything set up for the year, so ex excuse our mess a little bit. Um, and the last is the student store. So the student store is actually a class that you can take during your four years at Beamer where you can actually work the student store. We also have a coffee cart um, that lets you get work experience and uh, class credit, which is pretty cool. So we're coming through to the uh, kind of next little area where I'll show you the student store. Um, while we're walking, I'm going to show you some art that has been created by students. And I'll show that to you guys as we go as well. Um, so we're just gonna turn this corner here and we'll see the student store. And you can kind of see some of the options, pizza, cookies, different kinds of drinks, all of that, super fun. All right, um, one thing that can be confusing about Beamer is we are a two-story school. So. One thing that's nice to hear is that other people have been confused by our numbering system or getting lost on the first day of school. Those are really assuring things to someone who's very worried. So if that is true for you, you can say something like, hey, I got lost on my first day of school, but these signs really helped me. Or, um, you know, I looked at my schedule and I took a tour again, knowing my schedule or whatever it may be but reassure them that there are signs to help, staff members to help, um, and everyone wants you to find where you're going. However, because we're built into a hill, both stories you can access from ground level. So right now where I entered on the main doors, that's upstairs. So you can see there are stairs that go down from here. So we consider this the second level so when you get your class schedule and you're looking and you're like, where are my classes? Anything that's a 200 level class, 210, 245, that's going to be on this level. So if you came through the main doors, you're not going to go downstairs. If it's a 100 level class, that will be downstairs. Okay. All of our hallways are in clusters. So you might hear someone refer to cluster A, cluster B, cluster C. And those are like the wings of the school. We also have 
on the edge of each cluster what room numbers are down that way. So if you uh, are looking for your class the beginning of school year, you can always use those signs to help you figure out where you're going. Okay? All right. We have lots of murals around campus. So let me see if I can get... Oh. So we have a bunch of murals around school. If you don't know where they came from, most of them were created by leadership students a few years ago. Um, and so if someone's interested in those murals, you can kind of tell them that was school leadership. Um, the bulletin boards were mostly at this point done by staff. The student ones haven't been made yet because we haven't started the school year yet. Oh, it's backwards because I'm backwards. But it says if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. All right, sorry for the noise. Uh, we're having a little bit in construction, but I want to point out our counseling office. So our counseling office is accessible throughout the year. Uh, our counselors can help you with graduation requirements, testing requirements, uh, any social emotional needs, right? If you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling depressed, please come talk to our counselors. They are here to help you. Um, we also have our communities and schools. I'll back up so you guys can see that even though it's backwards. So if you need help with anything uh, with food or supplies or whatever, you can talk to communities and schools and they will get it all ready for you. Oh, getting some work done on a closet in here. Throughout the year, you'll see all these bulletin boards and they will be covered with things about clubs and other things that we have going on at school. So right now, a lot of them are blank because we have not uh, had clubs going and it's summer. So I look forward to you guys joining clubs. We have everything from Dungeons and Dragons Club to uh, Black Student Union to Drama Club to Art Club. Um, a technology student association so there's something for everyone and if there's not something that you are interested in you can make your own club it's pretty easy you just have to find a staff member who will be your advisor um, one thing i do want to point out if you're looking for your schedule later the science classes are kind of this is a reminder that as you're walking by the clusters and classrooms and maybe you don't know what to talk about um, you can talk about your positive experiences with teachers or classes. Um, I would suggest talking about your favorite elective classes uh, because we have some amazing electives at Beamer. Um, however, do not talk about how strict, rude, boring a teacher or class is. One, you have your own thoughts and feelings that may not be true for that student, but now they are worried, right? We want them to feel excited. Now, if you have like, that my favorite teacher is down there, they're absolutely amazing, please tell them that. Um, you may want to point out um, the science classes aren't necessarily in the clusters. They're kind of in the main hallway. Um, or just remember, positive, positive, positive. In the main hallway, they have doors in the main hallway. So that's something that you might want to look out for. All right, we've kind of reached the end of the main hallway upstairs. And so we're at our library. So our library has tons and tons of books. Let me see if I can sneak you a peek in there right now. Can you see in there? Uh, when I made this video, I totally forgot to talk about the college and career office. This would be an amazing time to talk about uh, how we help students get scholarships, uh, prepare for college, college applications, all of those things. Again, if you're not sure, you're like, I know we have a college and career office, but I've never used it. Here's where you gain some knowledge. They can help with scholarships. They can help you write your essays. They'll edit them for you. They will help you find a job. They will help you work on your interview skills. They will do all of those things. There's uh, field trips to go see colleges and different jobs and all of those things. So if you weren't sure what they did, now you know. So tons of books, things to check out. Uh, they're always a great resource to print, to do any of that stuff, okay? All right, so now we're going downstairs 
to the first level or downstairs. Um, we're gonna stick our heads out real fast so I can show you guys a couple of things. I'm gonna try not to lock myself out as we go. Uh, first of all, behind me is the Seed of Knowledge, which is a statue we have. Just represents how much we uh, appreciate and care about our uh, learning, right? That's why we're here. Um, you can also see our track and practice football and soccer fields. There is our softball field and way down there is the baseball field. One thing to know if you are new to Federal Way School District, our football games are not played on this football uh, stadium. I'm not sure our soccer games are as well. Um, they are played at Federal Way Memorial Stadium. So that's something I had to learn when I came here because I was not familiar with the area. And I thought it was kind of weird, but now I think it's kind of cool. All right, you guys, let me show you one of the things that makes Beamer amazing. And that is our uh, engineering uh, and composites program. So I'll show you a little bit of the shop because that's what I can see right now. This is a little messy right now, but you can see all those tools and all of that in there. Let me see if I can sneak you a peek. Oh, no, I can't see it. We got 3D printers. We have composite stuff. That's the stuff they used to make airplanes. Um, so it's really an amazing thing that we have at Beamer that you can take as a class. All right. Coming down the main hallway here, um, you can see once again, we have decorated billboards, billboards, <laughs> bulletin boards. Um, where you can see some of our programs like Mentoring Me. Um, sorry, it's a little dark down here. We don't have all the lights on. Um, some of them are really cute. This one has wings. I'm clearly not tall enough for it though. We also have programs like Nutrition and Wellness. So you can't really see it, but this is a class where you can cook food. You learn how to cook. Um, the food's delicious. Uh, students always bring me extras. Um, you can see kind of our, some of our trophy cases. We'll talk about that in a minute. One of our most popular classes is pottery. This is our pottery room. And it is super amazing. Actually, we can see some pictures on the wall here of some of the amazing pottery stuff that people have made. All right. Again, sorry for the noise, guys. Uh, there's only one other place that your classes might be, and that is out in the portables. So I'm just going to take you out there real fast. Just stick my head out. Your portables are out here. They are labeled A or B, like 4A, 4B, and they're all right out these doors. We also have our amazing AFJROTC program, which you can see right behind me. Um, where you can get experiences that will help you if you're interested in going to the military, but there's no military requirement. So you don't have to feel like you have to make a decision right away. Instead, you can learn a lot about leadership, learn a lot about technology. Um, and they also do things like color guard, drill team. So it's pretty awesome. So right now we're going back upstairs. So I wanna show you one more section of the school. You might've been wondering where our gym is. And so we're gonna head down to our performing arts and gym area. So as we're walking, this is just again, the great hall that I'm walking by. So we've already done this part of the school. And I will show you our performing arts areas. We do have drama, choir, and music. So let's stick our heads in. We'll walk you by our awesome murals. And let's go stick our heads in the theater. So we have an after school drama program and a couple classes. So here's our theater. You can see all of our cool lights. Let's go ahead and head to the music department. In our music department, you can take Orchestra, band, jazz band, guitar, piano, choir, jazz choir. And all of that is located down this hallway that's labeled music. 
In fact, one of the coolest things is there are all these practice rooms so that you can practice whatever instrument you play. We have two small or two gyms inside. First is our small gym. A few things that you may want to mention when you're in the gym hallway. Uh, one would be the start date for fall sports. So if you're not sure when that is, uh, it is, most sports begin August 23rd. Football starts a week earlier than that. Um, and that date is escaping my mind at the moment. Uh, but they have to have everything turned in, their physical, all of that, so that they can start tryouts. So the teams are really asking us to push to make sure that other people are knowledgeable about that. Another thing that you might want to point out, which I forgot to point out in this video, is where Mr. Phillips' office is. As, as our athletic director, if they have questions about sports, we want them to know where they can go to find that information. So that would be another great thing to point out as you walk through this hallway and gives you something to sort of talk about during that time. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention in this video is like there's a ton of amazing electives that we have in PE. There's dance, there's yoga, uh, sometimes the classes go bowling. All of those things can fill that time walking. Don't just sit in silence, say something and it's going to be positive. And our small gym right through these doors, we use that for PE classes, wrestling, dance, and in the spring, we put up a batting cage for baseball and softball. All right. Here we have our main gym. It looks like they're doing the floor, so I can't go in. But I'll show it to you guys. We use this for basketball. We use it for gym. We use it for assemblies. And lots of cool stuff. In this hallway, now we're kind of in the athletics hallway. We've got our training. So if you are an athlete around us, so you can see all those pictures. Those are all the pictures of teams that have been at Beamer from the beginning. Um, I'm actually in a couple of these photos, which I think is awesome because I coached softball for a few years. So you can see they just kind of keep going around on the hallway. You can find some pretty old ones, right? They're a little faded, but part of the legacy of Beamer. This takes us to the end of the main hallway. And I wanted to show you guys that this might also be where you come in. This is the student parking lot. The student parking lot is kind of to the side next to the football field. So if you are bringing a car, please make sure you park in the student parking, not in the parking at the front of the school. That is for staff and visitors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Um, oh, I got one last thing to show you guys. I totally forgot. Here's our weight room. The lights are off, so I don't know if you'll be able to see very well. Let's check that cool mural. Um, thank you guys for coming on this tour. If you have questions, please uh, contact for athletics, our athletic director, Mr. Phillips, uh, for ASB questions or leadership questions, that would be me, Miss Bray, or any general questions, just give the school a call and we'll be happy to answer those questions for you. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I hope we have a great year. Let's roll. All right, you guys, you are done with the tour, which is awesome. Thank you for doing this for uh, the school. Um, as you're ending the tour, make sure to thank the people that came on your tour for being there. It makes people feel really good, and we like to practice our gratitude. You should also ask if they have any questions. Um, maybe they've thought of something. Maybe they're not sure what to do next. Let them know. Um, and then follow up with any questions. Like if they didn't have, if you didn't have an answer for them and you're like, I will find that person. Either bring them to that person or tell them like, stay here for a second. I'll go grab them. Um, and if you could ask the students to follow us on Instagram so that they can get all of this information in somewhere that they'll actually look, unlike their student email. I very much appreciate it. And I look forward to uh, working with you guys on future things. Thanks, guys.